Off picture. Uh, San Diego could all but sew it up with a victory here. Cincinnati would have the inside track if it put off the victory here on the road today. What a beautiful day it is in Southern California. I know for so many of you back east, this is kind of hard to imagine, but 72 degrees. Remember when they played in the AFC title game, these two? The 81 championship game, the coldest wind chill in NFL history, minus 59. A little different story here today as Darren Sproles will handle the kick at the goal line. And Sproles breaks past the first wave, and he is brought down by the last man. Ball came out at the end. I believe he was already down. It was a 45-yard return. And Leon Hall saved the touchdown. Jim, we, I talked about it already. They played the Dallas Cowboys last week, the San Diego Chargers. Rough physical game, very emotional. And all week long, Philip Rivers said, eh, it's just kind of a slow week. Friday it picked up. And you want to know how to get up for a football game. Darren Sproul, so multiple, gets it done, gets you excited on the opening kickoff. And brings it out to the 45-yard line where they'll begin with Rivers on play action. Born for the long heave to Vincent Jackson, who is open for a flash. And it's incomplete. Another 1,000-yard season for the gifted tight end. It's Tomlinson breaking it to the outside and picks up seven, set up third and three before he's shoved out by Keith Rivers. On third and three, they go gun. They've got an open man, and it's Tomlinson with the first down. And just inside the Cincinnati 40, a pickup of 10. Just so many things to watch for when you're playing this Chargers offense. You're worried about Vincent Jackson. Then you go, wow, we got to make sure that Antonio Gates doesn't catch the ball. You worry about Darren Sproles coming out of the backfield. And oh, yes. How about that, LaDainian Thomas? Nobody covered him because everybody was running looking to help somebody else with Vincent Jackson and Antonio Gates. You can see almost mistake free by NFL standards. Fewest in the league as far as giveaways this year. First down run. Tomlinson. Rivers now on second and ten. He had good time. He's got a second hookup now with Tomlinson. And he falls just about a half yard shy of the first. You saw Norv Turner, third season, through 50 games on the San Diego sideline. 32 wins, including another three postseason victories. Taking his team not only to two division titles, but an AFC championship game appearance. And last year making it to the divisional round. Beating the Colts each of the last two years in the postseason. I'll tell you, the Bengals are an aggressive defense. Interested to see if they can have that same thought and try to carry it out against the Chargers. So far, a little soft. Receivers are getting free runs down the field, and they're open. On third and one, they pitch it to Tomlinson. Easily able to pick up the first. That whole side was open, and Tomlinson now has all 33 yards on this drive by the Chargers. Another first down. I love some of these calls. The North Turner, excellent when it comes to the start of games because anytime you're playing a good defense, that means what? That means they like to get after it. And Phillip Rivers fakes it inside, pitch it outside. You take advantage of a defense that overreacts, tries to take it to you. That's why nobody's there for the pitch. A breather for LT, scrolls in the backfield. First down, 22 of Cincinnati. Over the scrolls it goes. And he shakes it out to about the 16, 17-yard line. Another six yards by the Chargers driving here on the game's first possession. Always you can have all the thoughts you want when you play against certain teams or offenses or defenses in the NFL. But when you see it on the field for the first time, you go, wow, it's, it's not like practice. Thought it was going to be easier than this. And I'm sure, hey, the Bengals, they played Minnesota last week and did a terrific job for most of the game. This is a whole different offense to face. Second and four. And Sproles taken off and knocked down. Jarred at the five. First and goal to go. Only San Francisco, Minnesota, and Cincinnati have not allowed an opening drive touchdown this season, but that is in danger here for the Bengals. This is one of the best run defenses in the NFL, and the numbers don't lie. It is one of the best in every sense how you look at it. But right now, 
just a good mixture, keeping them off balance and running lanes that you usually don't see against this defense. And, you know, quite honestly, running lanes the Chargers don't see on the offense either. They've had trouble running the football. Marvin Lewis, 55 wins. That's same total of wins by Paul Brown. Stutter step move. Nifty move it was. Tomlinson. Mike Zimmer, who has really brought so much uh, credibility to the Cincinnati defense. A defense that had 17 sacks all of last year, 31 on this season. The second and goal. Rivers, play action, pass, incomplete. At the last moment, Dahani Jones knocked it out of the hands of Gates. Good play action fake. Not surprised they went with this pass down the goal line. Dahani Jones, he is having, what a year. He is having for the Bengals inside in the in the tackling game, getting behind the line of scrimmage against certain runs. And that time, that's a, that's not pass interference because he was fortunate. His collision just happened to time up as the football got there. And that's Cincinnati now trying to stop him inside the five, like the Chargers did last week down at the one against Dallas. On third and goal, San Diego has a touchdown. They go right back to Gates for the score. Well, they created a little aversion in front. Watch Legadu Nane. He goes underneath, the defense reacts to him, and look, nobody in the back of the end zone. Still, one of the best places to throw the football when you're inside the 10, back of the end zone against everybody. Touchdown pass by Rivers now in 11 consecutive games. Well, the Chargers, what an impressive start. What they didn't know as they were driving down the field is that at the same time when they're on their way to a touchdown, Tennessee was on its way to an overtime victory over Miami. And with the Dolphins losing, it qualifies now officially San Diego into the playoffs. That puts San Diego into the playoffs with the Dolphins' loss. A Verona's field goal from 46 yards wins it. Now, Cincinnati touching it for the first time. Quan Cosby. Kaysan has a hold of him and rides out with him near the 40. And Cincinnati comes out with its offense for the first time. And Palmer and company operating from the 39. Coming out throwing. Coming out with a long ball down the field to Andre Caldwell and incomplete. How about the way things worked out with the Jets losing? You know, and Tennessee over Miami. There are, what, look at this. Five teams right now at 7-7. Seven and seven. Baltimore, and of course, their game moved to the late window because of weather, taking on Chicago. You got Pittsburgh taking on Green Bay right now. There's a potential seven-way tie by the end of the day, potentially, for the second wild card spot in the AFC. By the way, with New England winning, San Diego cannot clinch a first-round bye today. Pass caught for a first down, and that is Caldwell on the San Diego side. Pick up a 13. After last week, any completions, top of your screen, that's Andre Caldwell. They're looking for plays down the field, this Bengals offense. Really good pocket for Carson Palmer. Good protection, something he did not enjoy last week. Hard to get the football down the field and get those completions that everybody's crying for when the quarterback's not getting enough protection. Benson banging bodies and picking up five. Second and five. With a play action, Palmer, sideline route. Ocho Cinco has it inside the 30. Good for 16. Something this offense really relies on since they run the football so much to fake to Cedric Benson. What it does, it opens up sideline routes for the receivers. And it takes, it takes a good arm from the quarterback, and that's a nice route by Chad Johnson. Watch Ocho Cinco here at the end of this, too, Phil. The tribute to uh, Chris Henry. And when he jumped to his feet, 
Now he pointed to the sky. Let's get back to the snap at the 28. Flag is down as the pass is completed to Jeremy Johnson out of the backfield. Personal foul, chop block, number 32, offense. 15 yard penalty, repeat, first down. That's a big one called by Carl Cheffers. Well, watch Cedric Benson, the running back, halfback, watch him. Is he, who does he block? He goes out to help Andre Smith, the first round pick of the Bengals. And when a defensive lineman is engaged, you cannot go low. The second guy in hitting, and that's a good call. Benson, who was out two games in November with a hip flexor, but has come back and been over 100 once in 96 yards. In fact, last week against Minnesota, almost cracking that 100-yard mark against that respected Viking rush defense. First and 25, it's Benson with the handle for just two. Second and 24, and the pass fired to the 25, and that's Caldwell again with the catch. He's having a very good season in his second year out of Florida, and he's gaining 17 with that one. Andre Caldwell, we're going to see him a little more today as he goes down the field because he has the speed to make defensive backs backpedal, open up some throwing lanes. And we hear too much, but you said fires Carson Palmer, and that's what he did. He fired the football in there into tight coverage and got another good gain from the passing game. Still trying to make up ground on that 15-yard penalty, so it's third and seven. Pocket sealed, pass thrown, Ocho Cinco feet down, give him the catch. And a first down just outside the 10. Yeah, that was excellent. What did I talk about earlier? Thrown to the sidelines. A lot of teams, they're afraid to do it. Top of your screen, little fake inside, and Carson Palmer can read it and throws it right on time. And the Cincinnati Bengals, you know, listen, they threw for, Carson Palmer threw for under 100 yards last week. This guy can throw with anybody in the NFL. You know he was upset by that. The whole team is embarrassed, and they're coming out here right now looking pretty sharp throwing the football. Just in the 90s last week as far as passing yards, but on first and 10, Caldwell unable to hold on. And you know, Jim, they talk about it. What you do, it's a good read by Carson Palmer. Looks to that secondary receiver. Oh, just a little off target. Didn't quite spot him up and throw it where he wanted to. But to get your running game going sometimes, and you just can't let a defense just hone in and attack your running game. you got to make them think they've done that so far with their passes here in the first drive. It's a second and 10 at the 11. Trying to answer back to San Diego's opening drive touchdown. Benson hit low by Gregory. He makes the play and it ends up a three yard gain. Third and seven on the way for the Bengals. Now, we talked about the sideline throws. You know why they're there. There's a good answer. There's Stephen Gregory. He's a safety. You block everybody up front. All the, the linebackers, the defensive linemen, they're nowhere to be seen. But you can't account for all of them. That's an excellent tackle by Stephen Gregory. Ocho Cinco to the right. Triplets left. Palmer forced to roll out. Now lobs it back in the end zone. Caldwell out of bounds. You play quarterback here. Watch the three receivers to Carson Palmer's left. Nobody is open that he thinks can get the football in the end zone. Nice adjustment. By the receiver in the back of the end zone, but the pressure on Carson Palmer stops the completion. 26-yard field goal attempt by Shane Graham. Fourth best field goal percentage in league history. Nate Kading on the field today, number one. This one good from 26. Coming up February 1st, by the way. I'll give you a big mention in there. So a touchback from the 20. Second series coming up for San Diego. 
Good fake to Tomlinson. Rivers looks down the field. What a smack. But holding on is Malcolm Floyd. Somehow he was jarred by Jonathan Joseph. Picks up 16. Excellent throw by Phillip Rivers. This is why a lot of reasons why it helps to have big receivers. Jonathan Joseph, remember, can't lead with a helmet. Can't take the shoulder pads back there. Shoulders doesn't do it. From the 36, Tomlinson trying to get the edge. And bumped out by Leon Hall. It's up two. Kasim Osgood at the top of the screen. Without a catch this season in there right now. Malcolm Floyd getting treated on the sideline. There's another big hit. Tomlinson holds on also. Short gain. Pick up three. Joseph again on the collision. Well, I was watching the Chargers practice on Friday and not giving any secrets here away. They're throwing it and it's it was impressive. You know, the, everybody running deep just and I said something to Norv Turner. I said, wow, what a game plan. He goes, nah, that's not really our game plan. We throw it long on Fridays because it makes me feel good. And it gets, yeah. But he also said it gets the players excited and gets them emotional and gets them really revved up for the game that's coming up on Sunday. I go, wow, great idea. Three of three on third down on the first series. This time third and five. A sack coming up by Cincinnati. And Dahani Jones wraps up Rivers. Well, Robert Gathers, a defensive end, back in coverage. They're trying some different stuff here, and let's see how long it takes them to get it worked out. To the left of your screen, Gathers drops back in coverage, does a good job. And that coverage down the field, different and well done, makes Phillip Rivers take the sack. Cyphers boots it. Juan Cosby, rookie's had a good year on the returns. Bengals from the 23. And they go ground. And that's Benson galloping out to the 30. They love to go ground. The Jets and the Bengals are the only two teams in the league that rush it more than 50% of the time. Well, big offensive linemen, Jim, they're young, so it's much, it's much easier for them to be aggressive and run the football. And of course, the big thing is Cedric Benson just having a, an outstanding year. And it's Probably the biggest reason this whole football team has changed. They can play defense. They can be patient on offense. Helps it. They keep, they keep the ball so long. It helps. It helps their defense. Second and three, and they get to the quarterback. That's Kevin Ellison, the rookie, strong safety coming up to make the sack. And the pass protection should have been there. Cedric Benson doesn't get over quick enough to get Kevin Ellison in this. This rookie defensive back, every time you look up and you see a play being made by this Chargers team, he seems to be around it. Rookie from USC, sacking the Heisman Trophy winner out of USC. So now third and 13. First sack for the rookie sixth round pick. And a flag. It's going to be a delay of game penalty against Cincinnati. Delay of game. Correction. Cincinnati called a timeout prior to the play clock expiring. That's their first charge timeout. It will be a 30-second timeout. Cincinnati would clinch the AFC North Division title with a win. And, of course, a victory would give them the inside track to the number two seed in the conference. On third and 13. They pick up the first down with J.P. Fashi. I think he got the first down, Jim, and what really helps get it is the fact that once he's tackled, he lands on Tim Dobbins and gets that extra half a yard. But a good job by Carson Palmer, third and 13, not forcing it down the field. The defense really dropped back playing it safe and a good job by Fashi catching him those extra yards. Time running down in the first quarter. Cincinnati converting on a third and 13. And that's Benson. He almost was able to get into a full gallop. 
but is reduced to a two-yard pickup. Jim Nance, Phil Sims, we start the second quarter with the Chargers up 7-3. But the Bengals have possession at their own 36. And it's Benson again. Picked up about three, Marvin Lewis. His team won the division back in 2005, and again, they would win the division with a victory here today. I tell you, I like what he said yesterday when we were talking to Marvin Lewis. You asked him, did you tell your team about what this game is? He goes, oh, yeah, they heard it enough. They know possibly the second seed is, is up there. He goes, you know, we got some big game experience last week. Didn't handle it very well. And I, I think it, he thought they would handle this a lot better because of what they learned last week playing in Minnesota in that dome. Third and five. Leonard makes the catch. Well done. Reaching down to hold on. He was chased out by Dobbins, but again, they convert on third down. Pick up six. Well, uh, that's truly. Watch the catch. Watch the throw by Carson Palmer. Nobody opened down the field. So he throws at the only place, the only window he has. And how about Leonard? Catch it, not only catch it, and able to go forward and get the first down. Palmer, you mentioned it, 94 yards passing last week. Already with 78 today. And a short throw this time back to Brian Leonard pick up five you know I think you know we all get caught in perceptions and we what we think back a couple years ago when the Bengals were such a prolific passing football team well this team is not and you know what they really can't be that's not that's not what they can do now if they tried to throw it like they did back in 05 and 06 well Carson Palmer probably still wouldn't be the quarterback and they would definitely would not be nine and four this time of the year they're nine and four through 13 games this year. A year ago at this time, they were one, 11 and one. One for the big ball. Got a man open. Ball is caught. Touchdown. Chad Ochocinco. And you know there's going to be a tribute here. For Chris Henry. Jim, you talked about it in the pregame. Chris Henry loved the game, and he loved big plays. I'm going to tell you what, they don't come any better than what we just saw. The route by Chad Ochocinco, out and up, and the throw by Carson Palmer. That's the big play and what people used to see from this Bengals offense. Graham makes it 10-7. Cano Josinko went right to the bench. And, uh, not to dramatize it. one ounce here. He was in tears. And well, we talked to Marvin Lewis about how some of the players have been dealing with the Henry News this week. And I don't think anyone would doubt that it's been harder on Ocho Cinco than anyone else. The scrolls is grabbed by the shoulder. Taken down at the 28. No, nope. you saw his reaction after the touchdown, Phil. Well, yeah, you can see the tears, Jim. He's crying a little bit as he comes to the sideline. Hard not to think of a fallen teammate in a situation like that. And, and uh... you know, Marvin Lewis, like so many of these coaches around the league, they take on a role far bigger than just being a football coach, a father figure to many. Marvin Lewis expressing us last night how so many of the kids, the Rivers on first down, ball deflected incomplete. Just don't know how to deal with death. And for so many of them, this was like such an eye opener for them when it was cut so close with it being their teammate. Well, you know, Jim, a couple of things. You know, one, they play a sport where they think they're invincible, but two, you forget how young everybody is in the NFL. So they haven't thought about situations like they had to deal with this past week. And it uh, it's emotional, tough. 
A second down, 10 carry. LT for two yards. It was a 49-yard pass play. Carson Palmer, Chad Ocho Cinco. What happened? Top of your screen. Watch the outcut by Ocho Cinco, and then sticks that foot in the ground, and he is out running one of the fastest corners in the NFL. And Ocho Cinco very fast. And what is different? Why are they finding these plays today? Carson Palmer has more time, and they, the San Diego Chargers worried about the run, so it's hard for them to double cover. The outside receivers gives them a chance. A third down coming up, and Malcolm Floyd remains out of the game. Legadu Nane lined up to the right. And there is Nane with the catch for the first down at the 45. Good for 15. Just a lot of space underneath for Phillip Rivers. Soon as that football is snapped, and again, I've said it, you've got to worry about, you know, Darren Sproles. You've got to help out on Antonio Gates. That's why you see nobody between Phillip Rivers and Nane down the field. Hit by Tank Johnson and held the one yard. Well, I'll tell you, Tank Johnson, I don't know if he got off to a really good start this year, but boy, the last couple games when you watch him, and he is making some plays. Got to the quarterback last week and making tackles like that at near the line of scrimmage. So many guys on this Bengals defense having outstanding years. Both corners, Dahani Jones. Mal Luga, the rookie linebacker. You saw Malcolm Floyd re-enter the game. On the near side, second down and nine. He's going right back to Floyd. And he was well guarded there by Leon Hall. Now I'll tell you, Phillip Rivers, Leon Hall, bottom of your screen, 29, uh, another guy. And... He has played well. I don't know if I'd challenge him down the field a whole lot because he's aggressive, smart, knows how to play his techniques very well. And as Marvin Lewis said, he's played so well, puts a lot of pressure on the other corner. Jonathan Joseph, another first-round draft pick to try to match him. And he's done it, both of them, with five interceptions this year. Third and nine. Here comes the blitz. Rivers unloads it. He's going to be picked. It's Joseph with number six on the season. Just after it left your lips. Looking so sweet on a day like this. First down coming off the takeaway. And Palmer, the ball squirts out. And recovered by the Bengals. Whitworth falls on it. Ball was knocked out by Alfonso Boone. I think what happens here, the Bengals... They like the way it's going. They, the emotion, the momentum, it's all on their side. So they were trying to go down the field again. Looked like Carson Palmer had both hands on the football, but sometimes a defensive lineman hits it. I don't care if you have both hands on it. It's coming out. Well, that lost 11 yards with the recovery back at the 15. Larry Johnson comes in for the first time. No stranger to this old AFC West rival of his from his Kansas City days. He is smothered by Travis Johnson for a loss of three. Well, Jim, let's go look at the interception of Phillip Rivers. Here's Chinendum and, and Dukeway watching come on the blitz. Perfect timing, and his teammates create the lane for him to run in untouched. And then look up top of your screen. Malcolm Floyd never sees the ball. Jonathan Joseph, he knows it's an all-out blitz, so he's looking a little quicker, and that helps him get the interception. Cincinnati goes four wide on third and 24. They get Cosby with the catch. His first catch has been really a featured punt returner this season. Good for 19 yards, but well short of a first. Well, you're a punt returner. You know you got some toughness. And when he caught the ball, Marvin Lewis was like, he was pretty excited on the sideline because he knows field position always big when you rely so much on your defense, which the Bengals do. Kevin Huber, the rookie, you know, booted away to Darren Sproles, a dangerous return man for the Chargers.
Bowls. You won it last year. And I'm running away with it this year. <laughs> There's Tomlinson. Hit at the line of scrimmage. Are you sure about that? I'm asking you. No, I you know. Sure? You're in like nine Holding back. Number 68. Holding. Offense. Ten yard penalty. First down. Well, the Bengals, when you play an offense or any time, sometimes when you go into a situation, a stadium where you expect it to be loud and emotional, though the Bengals defense, they weathered the storm. That interception has to give them confidence. There's Floyd. Not away from Leon Hall this time. And he gets a good chunk of the yardage back off the penalty. The 12, in fact. Well, I'm trying to figure out what Leon Hall did there. It was a blitz again by the Bengals defense. And if he has a man-to-man, -man, he lets him go. And then he realizes, oh, shoot. Now Lugo on the blitz. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. He's a rookie. You do that. Will you still be doing that in five years? Maybe so. He said earlier he's having an outstanding rookie year. Second down, eight. Rivers got smacked from behind, but unloaded at first. And Gates escapes two hits. He picks up a first down at the 43. He got away from Fanene and Malaluga. And... Well, flies for 13 yards and a first. Well, first, Phillip Rivers gets away, and look at that. Look at a defender in front, a defender to his side, and when Phillip Rivers needs to, he can shorten his throw motion down and get the football out in really tight situations. And, Jim, we talked about it last week. Antonio Gates, boy, when you see him healthy, it's he is incredible running routes, catching the football, and running after the catch. To get away from a first and 20 situation from their own 18, get a new set of downs. And they go back to Gates. Spin move by the big man for the first down again. Another 12 for Gates. Well, Mike Zimmer, defensive coordinator for the Cincinnati Bengals. I, I think, you know, you, you admire so much about this Chargers offense. But the problems, where are they going to come from? They're going to come from 85. And that time, Mal Luga, 58, went inside with the fake. And he gives Gates a free release to the outside. And how's this for just, oh, yeah. Spin to the basket, lay it in. Everybody <laughs> knows, ex-college basketball player. Well, no, that was one taking it to the hole. With a pivot move and a first down. Good fake by Rivers. He's going for the end zone. It's over the head of everyone. Tank Johnson with a little pressure at the end on that throw, and Malcolm Floyd was covered by Nduque. On second and ten, Gates comes back for it, and Nduque holds on. Holds him to about five, maybe six. Vincent Jackson without a reception so far, but Gates picking up a lot of the load here. And Gates... You look at all-time thousand-yard season by tight ends. Well, he's on the list. Gonzalez heads it with four. That's, that's boy, that is that's a great list. Ozzie Newsom, Todd Christensen, one of the guys I just remember kind of invented that short passing game underneath that worked so well when he was with the Raiders. Shannon Sharp, of course, and of course our guy Shannon Sharp. Third and five. Here is Sproles out of the backfield. Sproles takes the hit head on to Leon Hall, and he's able to ram his way for a first down. That's why they called him Tank when he was a little kid. Darren Sproles at five six, five foot six. Oh, that's a great job. They call him smart too, Jim, because you know you got to be. If you're a good football team, you got to be smart also. And he knows what he needs to get that first down, so he layered. Lowers that head and gets it down. Pretty good hit by Leon Hall, too. Now new set of downs, 35-yard line. Tomlinson waits for it to unfold. He's got a big run. A first down carry for 13 by LT. Going behind Chris Dealman. Well, that's an excellent job by Ladini and Tomlinson, but also you look at Marcus McNeil. And Manu Maliuna gets a really good block, and Chris Dillman pulled out there and knocks it down. Look at that running lane. Wait, 
cut in behind. Oh, nice block by Dillon. He just gets Keith Rivers and knocks him down. Now at the 22. And Tomlinson somersaults for only about a yard. Joseph came up to make the play. Going for Vincent Jackson to the end zone. Diving catch. Will they give it to him? Yes, they do. Touchdown, San Diego. He had Leon Hall on him. You could see it was going to be like a one-on-one -on -one situation. Rivers spotted it at the line of scrimmage. And he's got a second touchdown pass of the half. Look at the move. Fast up the field. The fake inside. And it's not. It's how fast he's able to come out of those breaks. He plants his foot perfectly so he is going full speed when he comes out. It's impossible for the defensive back to keep up with him when you're so efficient running routes like some of these receivers have been Jackson. Kading connects on the extra point. Back here at the queue. Vincent Jackson was telling us a week ago when we met with him before the Dallas game how he came to San Diego and lured route running by two Hall of Famers. Oh, well, how about that? How Char Charlie Joyner, of course, played some for Cincinnati yeah. and San Diego and Houston Oilers. And James Lofton. James. And There's Charlie Joyner talking to yep. him. It shows, Jim, that to me, they're the best school receivers. Well, I shouldn't say in the NFL. I don't watch them all, but they're good. Cosby only able to get it back to the 17. Well, you, you talk about how well they're schooled. This is what really gets me when you watch them. Look at the stances of the wide receivers. Their feet apart, their heads over the football. Phillip Rivers knows it's one-on-one. -on -one. He is going there every second of the way. Look at that move inside. The plant breaks back out. And this is not, as Phillip Rivers throws it, I'll tell you, he's going, oh, it's not as good as he wants, but what a catch. We walk into practice on Friday. The very first throw I see is this one. They hit it for a touchdown, and Philip Rivers said to Norv Turner, man, Vincent Jackson is hot. I agree. His eighth touchdown of the year. And that's Larry Johnson. A little unbalanced look by the Bengals. But what did Marvin Lewis tell us about Larry Johnson? Was it going to make a mistake that he did last week? Going to get him into the game. He hoped to get him in on a third series uh, just to keep him involved and also to keep Cedric Vinson fresh. Of course, picked up uh, here in the middle of the season after Kansas City cut him. Had a 100-yard game against Cleveland when Vinson was out with a hip flexor. Hip screen. Second and one. Almost intercepted. That was Cromarty jumping in front of Ocho Cinco. Isn't that pretty impressive? You know, you, you think about it, it just a, wasn't that long ago he gave up a double move for a touchdown. And, well, they say you can't have a memory if you're a defensive back. And he is all over this, Jim. Look at it. Gets both hands on the football. Good job by Ocho Cinco sticking his right hand in there to knock it down. Now it's third and one. Double tight ends. Larry Johnson. Moves the pile for a first. Hey, hey, hey. You know, Palmer, I mentioned the Heisman winner back in 2002, and Larry Johnson, now his teammate, finished third in the voting behind Person back that year. Larry out of Penn State. And they're going to take it to the two minute warning. Coming out of the two minute warning with the Bengals. First down at the 29. They have two timeouts. Changing direction, Larry Johnson. An open field over there awaiting him. Before he falls into the arms of Eric Weddle at the San Diego 44. That's a 26 yard run by Larry Johnson. Yeah, it is. I'll tell you what it is, Jim. It's good blocking on the front side. You away from the run and it's you know Dennis Rowland pushing his guy down and Bobby Williams they stay with it even though the run is called to the left and that allowed Larry Johnson to stop and come all the way around and get that big game. Oh, 
Tough pass, but it's caught by Coles, and he almost stayed on his feet, trying to spin away from Paul Oliver. Back to Coles again, and he weaves through traffic near another first. There is a flag back at the line of scrimmage. There's no foul on the play. So Jim, until further notice, just disregard Second all down. flags. <laughs> it's starting to become a habit, isn't it? Yeah, no foul. <laughs> Never well, mind. Hey, Carson Palmer, unblocked guy, stays in there, finds Lavernius Coles. Of course, Carson Palmer's about six foot six. That helps a lot. But Lavernius Coles kind of lost his spot on this team this week because they put in Andre Caldwell more. They want speed, and he made a few mistakes last week. And shoot, when you make mistakes, coaches. How do you get their attention? Well, you take plays away from them. Clock set back in motion at 40 on second and one. Got a first down at the seven. That's Caldwell. Boy, excellent job by the Carson Palmer again. All right, goes ahead and spikes it. And one timeout to work with, 22 seconds. At 22 seconds. And second to go at the seven. The pass end zone bound and almost picked. Quentin Jammer should have come up with it. Quentin Jammer left his guy, read the quarterback, fell back into the throwing lane, and I, I didn't see him so. Carson Palmer, of course, didn't either. Double coverage on Ocho Cinco. But there comes Quinn Jammer. He falls. It was a Carson Palmer down in inside the 10 yard line and moves around a lot. Good coverage up top. The initial coverage was very good. Pressure on Palmer. That's why he moved. Fortunate not, not to throw the interception. Now it's third and goal. Incomplete. Jammer that time. Helping deny the pass into Fachi. And there's where you would have liked to have had one more play for the touchdown strike. Jim, good point. Those plays took a long time, and there's still 10 seconds left. But Carson Palmer had all, all the time he wanted to throw it. But look, boy, you talk about trying to throw it into a tight window. And it was just a good scheme, good coverage by the Chargers. They had three guys to cover two on each side of the football. 25-yard field goal attempt by Graham. Keeper on the hold, and the kick is good. One-point lead now by the Chargers. More you can do, though. Squid kick. Bounces off a Charger. Scooped up by Cromarty. Oh, this is, that's big. And he's at the 45 with two seconds to go. That gives you a chance to throw it in the end zone. If you're going to squib kick it, don't you? You got to be careful. Get it past the front line of the return team. Let's see if the Chargers decide to take this opportunity. The Chargers, they get a lot of pass interferences called against their receivers because they're good. They throw it long to give them those opportunities. And they're good at throwing it down the football field, too. They've had nine passes of. 50 plus. Plus, they got those tall receivers. Of course, Cincinnati's now dropped back three defenders all the way back at the five yard line. Usually, the quarterback, Phillip Rivers, needs to drop back and then buy some extra time to let him get down there. There you go. Got Frosty Rucker chasing after him. Hating kicking to Quan Cosby. Cosby takes it at the nine. Not much more. 16 yard run back. And it's a running play with Benson. Nothing unfolds for Benson. And a loss of two. And interestingly, even though he was raised only about an hour up the road in Mission Viejo, Carson Palmer won a couple of state high school championships up there. 
Uh, he'd never been to a Charger game. Never came down here as a kid. He was really a college football fan. Oh, Got a lot of people here today. What, some 200 came to the tailgate. 65 are in the stands. His dad, Big Bill, been a little under the weather, but he's doing much, much better. And uh, Carson said to please pass along best wishes to my pop. Big Bill, third and six, and flags everywhere. Do you ever have 200 people come to your tailgate party before the game? Yes. That you actually knew? Well, <laughs> well, when I played it in Cincinnati, I'm from Louisville. Sure. I had, I, I don't know, four or 500 come to a game once. How I many, didn't have to get them all tickets. I was going to so. say, how many tickets did you, did no, you spring for? And it, you know, it was good. We lost, but it was the day I threw for over 500 yards, so it was a little bittersweet. I thought I'd throw that in there and let you know, but. It's fun to play in front of your family, and Carson, I think, was pretty Offside, excited about it. Offside, automated to the quarterback, number 56, defense, five-yard penalty, third down. Well, that'll change it to third and one. I'm glad you mentioned that. I actually had that in my research, that back in 1986, you threw in a game at Cincinnati for 513 yards. At the time, it was the second biggest total in NFL history behind Norman Van Brocklin. Yeah, 1985, actually, but that's okay. It was 1985. There you go. And you had 400 the week before. Yes, lost them both. <laughs> by the way. Yeah, by the way. That was a big play, though. Puts the Bengals in a much different situation. Sean Merriman got into the neutral zone before Whitworth, the left tackle, moved. So third and one. They'll go for it on the ground. I think Benson's got it. Jock Cesare was actually hit by his own player. He was locked in with that right arm. Yeah, you a Bengal player. Watch him. 74. Here he is. Reaches his right arm out. And Brandon Seiler, his own guy, as he's making contact, he gets hit from behind at the same time. And then, oh, you can tell right away the movement. Meanwhile, the measurement confirms the first down for Cincinnati. This defensive line, the San Diego Chargers, Jim. Jim, we've talked about it. Boy. They are beat up and they have done some job playing around it through injuries, kind of changing the scheme of their defense, making it more aggressive, blitzing. There you see Travis Johnson who comes in for him. He was picked up in a trade this season coming over from the Houston Texans. Right. Former first round pick. High first round pick. Homer robs it. And then back for it, Coles has the catch. Palmer over 200 yards passing. Yeah, just a, just a good scheme. And they're staying with their running game, which is not like it usually is. But look at Lavernius Coles selling it down the field and waits to the last second to break out. That's what it's, it's timing in the NFL. So many guys are so good. But Lavernius Coles sold the deep route. And Carson Palmer said it twice today. One of the best when it comes to throwing the football to the sidelines in this league. Another unbalanced. In the San Diego 49 and Benson. So we got a procedure penalty, motion penalty against Cincinnati. I wasn't saying that about you, though. Man. I was going to say, you know, I'm thinking back to okay. the days when I used to cover your games, and I, <laughs> I regret now. I said you fired it. Yeah. I should have said you lobbed it. Okay. <laughs> you didn't have a whole lot on it, so uh, you're right. It's another. a good point. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'll eat that one, too. All right. So the penalty, just five yards, of course, back to the 46 and first and 15. Ball deflected. That was tipped by Sean Phillips. Cromarty trying to say, wait a minute, that was a backward pass, and it wasn't. Well, I don't think it was. No, it was not. Carson Palmer on the 39. Turns the throw, absolutely throwing it forward. Of course, it's not where the football lands either. Not even close. Look after the play. Watch Benson with a little wow. shot to the face. 
Lucky to get away with that. Second and 15. Carson gets rid of it just in time as Sean Phillips was ready to take him down. It's not intentional grounding. It's intentional grounding. The quarterback was out of the pocket, and the ball went beyond the line of scrimmage. Third down. I feel like I'm doing the game for the fans because <laughs> they're yelling so much. Yeah, no. but, you reacted to it. Yeah, I did because they're getting and but the San Diego sideline really reacts. He's definitely out of the pocket, and as long as the football gets near or past the line of scrimmage, it's not intentional grounding, and that went four to five yards past the line of scrimmage. And another flag. San Diego Chargers defense actually lined up in the neutral zone. It was not called. Delay of game. Offense. Five yard penalty. Remains third down. Choxie's there is going to the locker room. The report from the bench it's an elbow injury. Questionable to return. Cincinnati, a team at nine and four on the year, has not suffered back to back defeats this season. Coming off a loss to Minnesota last week on the road. Now on third down, there is Foshi. Foshi. And he's going to be about nine short of a first. Picked up 11. Rookie punter comes back out, Huber. Mark Harris will snap it to him. Sproles ignores it. And it bounds into the end zone. Looking across the Coronado Bridge. San Diego has clinched a playoff berth already, but could clinch the West if Denver loses. Of course, again, the big story here, the two seed in the AFC really at stake right now as Rivers rolls out and throws it incomplete. Some wide receivers, coaches, and the San Diego Chargers do it better than anybody else in the league. Second and ten, and again, another flag on the snap. False start by Malcolm Floyd. False start, number 80, offense, five-yard penalty. Remains second down. Vincent Jackson went over a thousand on the season on his touchdown catch, and Chad Osorio did in the first half on his touchdown grab. I'm sorry. Excuse me. How's your sandwich? Yeah, no, it wasn't that. <laughs> second and 15, and Tomlinson just before the half. Thank you, JB. Meanwhile, Oakland still seven up on Denver in the Mile High City. Third down coming up for. San Diego. Rivers. Vincent Jackson was trying to get back around his defender. Well, I think he was trying to throw it to Antonio Gates that yeah. time, Jim. But right between the two of them. Just excellent coverage. Yeah, it was between them. But it was excellent coverage by Morgan Trent. Boy, Philip Rivers thinks there was defensive holding that time against Antonio Gates. But Trent, that's a good matchup for the Bengals. Kept the outside leverage. Wasn't going to let him go outside because he knew he had somebody inside watching. As the first three and out on the day. For San Diego, 40-yard punt. Times the eight-yard run back. And that last uh, third down incompletion by the Chargers struck a nerve for Norv. He's not... He's still going. <laughs> he, he, he had about a two-minute uninterrupted stretch. Pretty good, too. Well, it was a good stop by this Bengals defense. Now they got excellent field position. Start at the 49. 
and three more to the total of Cedric Benson. This is what he's upset about. Watch Gates. Yep, there's Trent pulling that jersey. Gates trying to get to the outside. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Look at that. The jersey's pulled down. Uh, I'll tell you, I, I did not see that till just then. That's a pretty good arguing point. How do you think it got that way? <laughs> Second and seven. Benson, he's got the outside. After an injury, timeout. And Palmer, buying time. And incomplete. I think Carson Palmer had Johnson in the flat right away, but he decides to maybe wait because it's not wide open to look for something down the field and it never materialized. Fullback in the flat, watching there, hitting. And then by the time he relo reloads, they're covered. We're back out of the timeout and now dropping back in the punt formation. There was some trickery absolutely in the making there for Cincinnati, but San Diego smelled it, as we said. Simaz got called timeout. There's the punt and oh, 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 he slid into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. Just a net of 22. Brandon Johnson just could not ground to a halt there. David Jones was the one who kind of tapped it back in play. I think it catches him by surprise, Jim. He's not expecting the football. Well, yeah, he did. He had plenty of time. He just never got his feet under him. Now, here's what we saw off the timeout. The timeout by San Diego. It's a fake punt by the Bengals. And who calls the timeout? Osgood. Yeah, who, and like you said, who else? Huber, the punter, was lined up on a wing on the left, and... Ryan Leonard was the up back, so San Diego comes out of this with a smart timeout. Ball at the 20. Tomlinson barrels ahead for about eight. You guard those second half timeouts, and like we've always said, they're gold, but when it's in scoring position, that could have led to a score by the Bengals. You call that timeout, especially a game that's so tight and well played like this one. Tomlinson with 46 on the ground, 11 attempts. And this one moving in on a first down, but I think it's going to be inches shy, third and inches coming up. Yeah, Jim, let me just show you. Look at this on the outside. We got some singles in there. I know this is only the second drive, but it looks like the Bengals went in at halftime and go, all right, enough of this respect. Let's go out and be a little more aggressive on what we're doing on the defensive side. It worked the first series, and we'll see if it works the second one, but definitely putting a little more responsibility, Mike Zimmer is, on his corners, Leon Hall and Jonathan Joseph. Midway through the third quarter, third and inches, Rivers. I lost him, he was short. Yeah, you can see the spot coming in from the far side. The guy on the near side may uh, have a little more of a generous attitude about it. Oh my gosh, he just got. Oh, okay. We're going to defer to the far side, and that's going to be short. You know, this game. Well, if that football, North Turner wants a measurement, but if it's not touching the white line, it has to be short because it started from the 20. Yeah, Phillip Rivers doesn't give himself a chance to really drive into there. And you're explaining to everyone here what yeah. you just said, why there is no reason for a for a measurement. And this is the second three and out of the quarter for the Chargers. Quarterback sneaks. Uh, you will hear me. I haven't, I haven't preached it as much this year. But it's something you got to work on because you got to give. You're talking about trying to gain a foot or a yard. Quarterback's got to be ready. And Cyprus earns the fair catch by Cosby. Well, I would say if either one of these teams didn't make it to the Super Bowl, well, they're going to be disappointed if they don't get there. Expectations are high. They both had very bright moments during this season. Chargers, of course, hotter than anybody else in the NFL. 
And the Bengals just changing everything about themselves, really almost in one year, which is a credit to Marvin Lewis and that organization. Marvin, who's been on a Super Bowl winning team as an assistant coach, as has North Turner, of course, with a couple of rings over in Dallas as an assistant under Jimmy Johnson. First and ten. The Bengals, who have already run right through their division, swept the AFC North, trying to clinch it today. 6-0 against division competition. And that pass is intercepted by Quentin Jammer. They're going for Ocho Cinco. And Jammer, who had his hands on a, a possible pick in the first half this time, grabs it like a wide receiver. Well, it looked like Ocho Cinco kind of stumbles, never gets his eyes up to find the football. And it, we talked about it, Jim. They've been throwing outside, outside. So this time they go in. Well, that is some play by Quentin Jammer. Again, I've talked about these Bengal corners, but these... But San Diego, they put a lot of pressure on their corners, too. Cromartie, Quinton Jammer, they've had tremendous years. They're tough at the line of scrimmage. They both will tackle. And you just saw it. They can cover, too. So, a takeaway by the Chargers. Can they cash in? It's Tom Winston. And he's got six more behind Mike Tolbert. And you know, Jim, you go back to that last play. And the, and the San Diego Chargers basically say are saying to the Bengals, you're going to have to throw it to beat us. They are putting everybody up there, and they're like I said, putting it on their corners. And what a way to really start by getting an interception. They've had two three and outs in the second half. Now facing a second and four. Pass caught. Touchdown, San Diego. Vincent Jackson. Down the field again, Phil. They're not shy when it comes to throwing it down the field. Antonio Gates going down the middle. But what a throw by Phillip Rivers. He he got every bit of it to get it in there just before Leon Hall could recover and knock it down. So it didn't take long to take advantage of the takeaway. Rivers 34 yards to Jackson. Top of your screen, Vincent Jackson. Oh, I tell you what, it, it, Jim, and as I watched it, I thought maybe he made a little move I didn't see. I think there was a breakdown with the Cincinnati defense. There's no doubt the way Leon Hall played that, that he thought it was a different coverage than they, they had. And maybe the safety stayed inside because Antonio Gates was flying down the middle, but there was nobody to help Leon Hall. And there is, even rem I remember when I played, you talk to coaches and players now, there is nothing worse than making a mental mistake in the game that gives up those type of plays in any game. Forget that it's maybe for the number two seed in the AFC. And the 14th game of the year. Now 25 on the season. That was something, I mean, I tell you, he he let that one rip. Back-to-back 25-plus -back touchdown seasons. Only Dan Fouts had done that in San Diego history. Of course, Fouts was the quarterback, and North Turner backed up most of his years at Oregon. Cosby never able to get a running start. Movement on the right side. False start. Number 74, offense, five-yard penalty, first down. This crowd just stirred and making a difference here, Phil. Remains first down.
They are. Crowd noise gets to be distracting, makes it hard to communicate. You know, Jim, when you, you've been, we've been in some stadiums, I've been in them. It's hard to think, to concentrate. Had 12 in in the huddle, and I got flagged for it. And again, can't even think straight. You want to talk about what the home crowd can do for you, how they can make a difference? Just look at this last one minute sequence. Yeah, what you got to realize when there's a penalty as a quarterback, and I know they all know it, and coaches, the play clock starts at 25. So it gets to you quicker. The Bengals didn't even pay, it, pay attention to it, and they got called for a delay of game. Oh, now a timeout. After all of that, Palmer and resignation calls timeout. What do you make of the timeout? Well, that's a big one. Using those timeouts in a situation like this, after a penalty, knowing you might need them to win the game. First and 25, Fashi with a tight end screen. Now to about the 13, tripped up by Tim Dobbins. Good for six. Oh, a nice play by Tim Dobbins. As I watch this Chargers football team, it's a 3-4 defense. When you play a 3-4, it is about your linebackers, but they're all active. Even when you think you got them blocked sometimes, they're able to get away and make plays. They did a lot of that for Ron Rivera last week in Dallas. Palmer busted play just took off and again it's Dobbins on a second hit in a row some sort of mix up there yeah well it, Carson Palmer thinks it's going to be a draw play look he's going to try to hand it off he gets a little confused then he gets up and says something to Cedric Benson well you know what this crowd noise does it makes you keep in extra guys instead of sending them out in the pass because pass protection becomes such a big problem. Third and long. They take the underneath stuff to Fasci and he's still nine yards short of a first. That's a victory. Tim Dobbins was in on the last three tackles and that was a victory in part yeah. put up by that San Diego crowd, too. Well, I mean, it's a, yeah, it's a victory for the Bengals that they didn't turn it over. Oh, I got you. Tim Dobbins, Brandon Seiler, Joxie's there last week, the three heroes of that goal line stand that won the game, I think, for them down in Dallas. Hubert, Sproles, backtracking. Carson leading that offensive line through a little talk. Meanwhile, back at the 27, Rivers up eight. Second it up to Tomlinson. Got a good block on that left side. Big yardage for LT, and he's down to the 37. I'll tell you who made it was Scott Murchkowski, the center. How about that? North Turner really such a tremendous screen team kind of started doing it a little more in San Francisco when he was an offensive coordinator up there and has continued it with this Chargers team you're so conscious of down the field down the field and look at that block on the outside you said it Jim Murchkowski starts it out and gives him all those extra yards 36 yards in all and now from the Cincinnati 37, Sproles. Set back a yard by Tank Johnson. We'll slow it down next time. Bobby Bowden's final game will be on CBS, the Hanukkah Minolta Gator Bowl.
Rivers with the half time, and he finds Vincent Jackson at the 20. Here's what they're going to do. Vincent Jackson's going to go down the field. If he thinks he can go deep, he will. And when he decides he can't, he goes, nope, there's nothing deep. Watch how he just stops. Phillip Rivers is expecting it, and he throws it in there. Two receivers going out. Boy, oh boy, can he pick his knees up and throw those elbows and run. Love that play. Scrolls. Trying to find any crease off left tackle, and it does not exist. A loss of the yard. You know, I, I don't know, Jim. Do you get the? I always get the feeling when I watch the Chargers that, man, when the emotion gets their way, I, the play call and it all just goes. And it's, you know, I get that feeling about the whole team and the season with them this year. They're. I think you're right. Eight in a row. You just really feel like it's a team hitting. Yeah, on all cylinders. They feel that. it. They, you know, they, they. As I always say, they've got the fever, man. I saw it last week. The practices, you can see that they're doing it for the right reasons. They love playing. Second and eleven. It's over to Hester, and he stretches it out to the fifteen for five. And you know, too, you know, the team is North Turner. We kind of talked to him about it a little, and when he got here it was just it was such a Ladanian Tomlinson he was the focus of almost everything but now that the team has really changed over it's Philip Rivers and Norb Turner the focus is on them and, and of course this tremendous passing attack they had well they went from 06 from that prolific year that LT had and then of course Norb came in in 07 and really emphasizing the rush to now being such a dangerous throwing team to be a championship team he knew he had to get them to be a better passing team you got to do both third and five going to the end zone jump ball and incomplete jackson was going for touchdown number three but leon hall turned it away well they put the pressure on you don't you top of the screen leon hall one-on-one -on -one. A little stutter go. Nice job by Leon Hall finding the football, locating Vincent Jackson. It'll bring out Nate Kading. 33 yard field goal try, and all he has done inside the 40 is make 65 consecutive. Leon Hall's covering a giant. Outside. Make it 66, and that makes it a two score differential. Boy, 10 quick points by the Chargers after that interception by Quentin Jammer. And suddenly 24 to 13, San Diego. Well, Jim, you got to have a lot of ways to win. Ocho Cinco wanting to get back out there and make an impact here in the second half. I was going to say to you, Jim, you know, the crowd was so loud that it almost made me stop talking. We can try to get him fired up again. <laughs> Give you another crack at it. Good luck. Yeah, we've been out here a lot of times over the years, but yeah, this, is, this is pretty good. Pretty, it's electric and Chargers got some personality and they got a great identity with all their players that hey, they make the plays. Cosby will this time take it from the four to the 25. Osgood ends it. 21 yard return. Chargers not only go to Tennessee on Thursday for a Christmas Day game, will close the regular season here at home against Washington. And they've already gone 3 0 through the NFC East. And you know, they used to have this attitude people did about the West, if you will, AFC West. Oh, yeah. Maybe even San Diego. Hey, they're soft. Well, they've knocked out the first three NFC East teams they played. Talking about the Chargers. They lead that division too. They've beaten Dallas. They've beaten Philadelphia. They've beaten the Giants. They got Washington here in two weeks. Yeah, they that soft tag. That's 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 out the window. Benson stacked up quickly, falls for a yard. They've been playing well too. Walking into a buzzsaw. Second and nine. 
And it's Benson. They stay on the ground. That was Vaughn Martin riding it out with him for only a couple. It's going to end the third quarter. Ten points in the quarter to the Chargers. Third down coming up. Start the fourth quarter. Jim Nance, Phil Sims, Qualcomm Stadium in San Diego. Third and six for the Bengals. Down 11. They seal the blitz. The pass off the fingertips of Brian Leonard. Sean Phillips probably would have denied a first had he caught it anyway. Yeah, but I know one thing. The Bengals would sure like to get that opportunity to see if he could tackle Brian Leonard out there in the field where he has a two-way go, go right or left. Hubert. Get some hang time with this one, but it will be returned. Actually, will be generating a flag as well. Sproles backpedaling for the second straight, straight punt return. Six yard punt. Loss of three on the return. During the return. During the return, illegal block in the back. Number 51 of the return team. 10 yard penalty. First down for the Chargers, it's Tom Winston. You, know, you think about the Chargers not running the football very well at all this year. 31st in the NFL, but just like last week, Jim, they 31 attempts running the football for 73 yards. And the big number there is the 31 attempts. It just gives their offensive linemen, it keeps them aggressive, helps them in pass protection, you know, keeps good pacing for their football team. Second and seven. Look in the middle and intercepted. It was off the hands of Gates, who usually is automatic on a throw like that. Keith Rivers comes away with it, and suddenly the Bengals get the huge break they've been looking for. Well, that's what they needed. It's a good play fake. Antonio Gates going to go across the field. He's open in the zone. Phillip Rivers just about a half a foot behind, but still an easy catch. What a job by Keith Rivers hanging with it. And that's why if when you're the Bengals, you know, you're careful with the football. Carson Palmer didn't take chances that last drive because your defense is good enough to give you an opportunity. Second pick thrown today by Rivers. Go with his three touchdowns. Cincinnati. Deepest penetration of the half, if you will, coming off the turnover and they get it in the hands of Ocho Cinco who's cutting back beautiful move by Ocho Cinco with a blocker and finds Benson Palmer down there throwing a block and he's inside the 10 Woo! man how quick is he he has got feet hey, it was a backwards pass too it, it definitely is a rushing attempt because Carson Palmer threw it backwards but they're looking for a way down the field. There's nobody open down the field. The Chargers not full, but how about that cut? And then here just turns it on and gets by Boone so he can't make the tackle. Look at Palmer come down the field and throw a block. He was talking to that team, talking it up big time on the sideline, and he goes out and shows them hey, how you do it. That's right. The fight is not over. First and goal. Palmer looking, looking. Looking, throwing, and it is caught at the two by Jeremy Johnson. You heard me say it, Jim, talking about Carson Palmer. This year, he is such, he is so much more active in the pocket, moving out of the pocket, running the football, and it plays, it's big once you get inside the 20-yard line. We've had a lot of chargers, haven't we, Phil? Falling. Now it's Quinton Jammer, and we'll take a break. Go for it up top. Pass. Caught for a touchdown, Lavernius Coles. And he went right to Kaysen, who had come into the game 
and Coles snags it for the two-yard touchdown. What a throw, what a throw. Now will they go for two? They will. Coverage right away of Lavernius Coles. He's expecting it back shoulder. Well, it's a good job of going. It's not quite back shoulder. So this makes it 24 to 19. You, you, I know you well enough to know you think it's too early to go this, for this two. Is, this is edgy, but I, I would go ahead and kick the extra point just because you think you're going to stop the Chargers completely. They get a field goal, but it'll put you in a tough situation again. Go, go ahead and try to trim it to three. Palmer takes off oh. with it, and he runs it in. And the kick. Not traveled that deeply, so it's fielded early by Hester. He gains his footing to the 21. That was some catch by Coles, and it took a while for him to gain full possession, didn't it? Yeah, it is. Watch. Watch Kaysen's left hand. He's got both hands on the football. The Lavernius Coles definitely had possession of the football two feet inbounds before he went out. And that's what he is. Lavernius Coles is uh, through the years, tough, makes tough plays, good blocker. First down, Tomlinson hit by Dahani Jones. Behind the, behind the line. Yeah, Dahani Jones leading Dehani tackler Jones. for this defense. And we haven't talked about him much today, but Jim, it's he is having a special year. And he's doing it tackling sideline to sideline. And what also he takes it head on. He takes blockers on and, and he's not one of these who just throws his body in there and hopes to make the tackle. He goes in there and wraps it up and takes it down. Where the crowd noise level nowhere near what we had earlier in this half. Just quieting down here, letting the offense try to run efficiently as Rivers. Which is man, it's Vincent Jackson with another catch. This one true for 15. Yeah, just the the, the plays, the, the chargers. Antonio Gates is doing a double move down the middle of the field. They stack the receivers. Oh, they fake like they're going out and they come back under. You can't cover it. There's Gates. Look at the protection Rivers has. And Vincent Jackson, you've got to honor any time he runs like a deep sideline route. Able to come back underneath. That's why he was wide open. And not throwing him first down this time. No. Chase sacked. Sacked this time by Keith Rivers, who had the pick that led to the touchdown. Sets him back eight yards. You know, the Bengals, what separates them this year, they can cover people man-to-man -man down the field. This time it's a blitz, and they, they, they evenly space the field, so it unnerves the quarterback. And here's man-to-man -man coverage down the field. Vincent Jackson covered short. And on the other side, is he open? No. Once a quarterback stops looking at the receivers and looks at defensive linemen, well, that's trouble. Second and 18, they go to the gun. Look out. Flag is down. I believe it might be a legal contact called against the Bengals. It's a dangerous pass. It was in the area of Strolls, and Duque had a chance at the pick. Prior to the pass, illegal contact. Defense, five-yard penalty, automatic. First down. Boy, that is one big penalty. If you're going to keep, well, I was going to say you can't play this style of defense, but the Bengals are in a safe, safe get back zone coverage. Now you think about it, it was on second and 18. Phil. That's what I mean. Here it comes right there. Oh, that's a good 10 yards down the field. Team. Rivers has never had a three interception game in his career. He's thrown two today. It's the longest start to anyone's career in the history of the league without throwing three interceptions. It's now at 64 games. 
Joe Montana had the record at 59 games before he was picked three times. That's a pretty good stat. Pretty amazing. Second and six, and it's Floyd. Taking it to the Cincinnati side of the field at the 46. Now that, when Phillip Rivers took the sack, this play was a direct result of it because they've been outside, so they call an inside route with speed. And that is reacting to what you see and calling plays accordingly. And Phillip Rivers hits that back foot, and he rips it in there. And you can tell that's something they've done hundreds of times in practice. Made it look easy. Here's Tolbert. And Tolbert the fullback for about two. And this drive that's using up a lot of the clock. Being enjoyed at the moment by Dean Spanos, president and CEO of the Chargers. Dad, uh, Alex, has uh, come in for the game. And down from Stockton. We wish that family a very Merry Christmas. You know, too, boy, I always think about this, the owners. They've got to be proud of their team. You know, they're, they're exciting. You know, they're very likable. And, uh, you know, they're just... Like I said, the style of play and the fans, you can hear it when you hear it at the game. The fans love it. Second and eight. It was look long, goes short. Chris Wilson, helmet is off. Oh, look out. Look out, flying in there on the end. With a helmetless player, Brandon Johnson coming in to add to it. Chris Wilson looking back as though he'll... Tell them I'll remember that one. Well, first off, it took everything for Phillip Rivers not to throw this to Vincent Jackson. What a catch. The helmet comes off, nothing illegal. Okay, just a little, little, as I call it, J-O-P. You know what that is, jump on the pile. Timeout, San Diego. We're back at a crucial juncture, third down for San Diego, leading by a field goal with 7.33 to play. Third and six, needing to get to the 36. To Floyd, pushed out, incomplete. Honey Jones making another play. How about that? This was really a clever job by the Bengals. Everybody was acting like they were going to blitz. They all dropped back, and other guys came on the blitz. Phillip Rivers does a good job, but there's no force out rule anymore. Good job by the Honey Jones. Cypress, watch Osgood now at the bottom of the screen. Oh, look at that double team. Cypress. And that ball oh. with the backspin hits it the four. And he's got another kick inside the five. He is something else. The best I've ever seen at doing this. Wow. The best. All the kicks this year, only two in the end zone. One of them we saw last uh, last week that could have been stopped at the one, and one that he did on purpose. And, and Jim, we don't give special teams the credit or the focus that we should. But you think about last week, the punting of Cypress, what it did, backing up the Dallas Cowboys, and of course, backing up the Bengals right now. He does it all the time. He's done it here in a big spot. In the fourth quarter, the Bengals offense starts at the five. Cedric Benson, though, breaks away. There's a flag thrown in from the secondary, if you will, from the back judge. 10-yard run, probably going to be nullified. Yep, that means it's going to be from the, one of the outside people at the line of scrimmage. Holding, number 88, offense. After distance to the goal, repeat first down. I think what's going to be bad, let's see who makes the hold. Oh, here it is. Oh, that's, yeah, that's really evident, yes. Very evident. I thought it was going to be a hold away from the football, but no, that was the, the point of attack 
and that's what enabled Benson to get outside. Now the crowd at the other end zone got to make a difference. See what this group can do at the other end. Yeah, I think they're getting outplayed by the other end. Palmer up high, pulled in. What a catch. Fashi, who just been flagged, comes back with a 21-yard grab. What a catch. When that football was thrown, I, we got a pretty good view. I said, this is overthrown. Oh, and it keeps going forward. You know, you look at this Bengals offense, Ocho Cinco to the outside making plays, Cedric Benson running it. They need somebody else to step up and really be a big part of it so teams will have a hard time focusing on Ocho Cinco. Boy, he got him out of the jam back at the two. Now, Palmer thought about, now throws. We had Larry English, their first round pick out of Northern Illinois, the linebacker, running after him. Well, being active, we said that about Larry Carson English. Palmer, but just being more careful with the football, not being the gunslinger that we've seen in years past, because the way he's playing now fits this team. And he was careful, and it's a good thing. If he'd have let it go, it would have been intercepted. Second down pass, good catch, but four yards short of the first. Andre Caldwell. Well, you got to talk it, you got to walk it. He does it. 5:25 to play, third down. Gets the first. Oh. Gain of five, and it's Cosby with another catch. Well, maybe this is the guy. This Quan Cosby. You've said his name a few times today. That's a tough catch, and knowing the situation, getting that extra yard. He played in the uh, Los Angeles An Angels. Played in the farm system for the Angels. Baseball for four years before going to Texas to Cosby. Undrafted rookie. Picks up the first. Bashi with another impressive catch and run out to the 50. There were 439 to play. The Bengals are on the move and they had been in quite a tough position. And the 50. That is Benson. Nice adjustment. Benson bouncing around to the 38 for another first to pick up a 12. Benson with his first thousand yard year of his career. And that's even with missing two games. Well, you talk about Cedric Benson, Jim, catching this. They're doubling Chad Ochocinco. Good job by Carson Palmer. Look to the outside. They're but two defenders. But Benson, all those carries, what did he say to us yesterday? I'm fresh, not tired, not beaten up. And he called last week's loss to Minnesota for this Bengals team a wake-up call. That's back to Benson. And Palmer now is over 300 yards passing for the first time since 2007. Of course, he played only four games last year. Hasn't missed a game this season. Well, the Bengals keep going. They're switching around their unbalanced line. But, Jim, you look at the time. The Bengals have two timeouts. Now you really got to. Somebody's got to tell Carson Palmer, you can't take the sack, nothing, because this could be your last possession. Got the two timeouts. You need all four downs. Second and two. Good move by Benson. Looked like there was nothing there, but he waited for it to develop, and he rumbles for 12 more. Well, I thought that's a tremendous run. Good fake by Carson Palmer. I thought the Bengals were in a illegal formation. No, they're not. I was wrong. It's a tight end over there instead of a lineman. Look what Cedric Benson sees. Boy, that's nice patience. Waits. Benson, he has come up with some plays on this drive. Marvin Lewis implored his team before the game, make some plays. First and ten and a flag 
Brings this one to a halt. Step off five more against Cincinnati. False start. Number 88. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Remains first down. Nothing he loved to do more. First and 15. Trying to come back from 11 down. Balls out. Fumble. Palmer gets to it in time. Palmer took off in a race against Eric Weddle. Caldwell saw it just pop out. Net a loss of 20. How about that hit? Tim Dobbins. Oh, they make him when he reroutes to take him back inside. Tim Dobbins is running full speed from the time he diagnosed it in the middle of the field. And that speed caused that fumble. We're going to come back out of the two-minute warning with a second and 36 after this play. Well, I think the big thing is, you know, Jim, just trying to get a field goal attempt out of this. So I would say they need, I would think about 12 yards in the next two plays to get to at least get a long field goal attempt. Graham's career long, 53. Got to get to the 10 for a first, but you... Set it right. Field goal essential. Palmer goes with the bailout. That's Fauci picking up, scrambling for an extra couple of yards, which again, so crucial to the 39. Third and 29. Palmer down the field. Catch is made. And that will not, of course, give him the first. It's Cosby growing up here in one game as a receiver, but it brings it in close enough to give Graham a good shot of the field goal. Boy, that is anticipation, seeing down the field, knowing where there's not going to be coverage. And Carson Palmer, here comes Cosby this. Watch the, the throw. He sees that soft part of the zone. He comes across, throws it in there perfectly, and you've got to go up and catch it knowing you might take a huge hit. Beautiful throw by Carson Palmer. It's about the one million spiral he's thrown in his life. <laughs> it's a tight one, isn't it? It is. His name, you know, nickname coming out of college was the Jugs Machine. That's a machine that throws footballs out in the NFL. And Timeout called by San Diego. Good call, good job by San Diego. Trying to preserve some time. If they tie it up, at least gives them a chance to get a few plays off. They did wait a while, though, for that timeout. You know, Quan Cosby, with a couple of catches on this drive, three on the day, had not had a single catch on the season before today. Incredible. What, Jim, to answer your question, Norb Turner's arguing that point that we were calling timeout and they didn't get what they wanted when they said, they tried to call timeout. Some of you may have seen the Jets earlier today and some of their malfunctioning on field goal attempts. Failed to convert on three of them. All kinds of bobbles and missteps. They've had some issues with Cincinnati too. Clark Harris, the snapper, signed in mid-October. Huber, the holder, and Graham to tie it from 34. Executed to perfection. Game tied at 24. A lot of heart by this Marvin Lewis coach team today. Coming back from 11 down on the road. Battling all kinds of emotions this week. And remember, they were back on their own three on this drive. They had first and 12 at the three. And they responded to a tying field goal with a tying field goal. I'd say that's overcoming a little adversity in that drive. They actually did yes. add some time. They put on an additional, what, seven seconds or so? Ten seconds. And you got 54 seconds now for Philip Rivers to operate with and one timeout. And Nate Kading realizing he may have a chance to decide this. And that's 
Sproles taking a knee. One of my thoughts coming into this week, forgetting even how they played against Minnesota and lost, just the toughness that they have overall. Let me correct that. That timeout call by San Diego again before the field goal was its last. And now Rivers to Sproles. He's got 11 yards, but again, the clock will run. LT gets back across the line. Set as a receiver and a spike at 36 seconds. Carson Palmer coming back home, if you will. He lives in the San Diego area during the offseason. And you ready for this? He actually lives directly next door to Norv Turner. <laughs> That's can you can you imagine that? Yeah. He said yesterday, I'm going to go over and check my home, and I might just scroll next door and see if the doors are unlocked, and maybe see if the next to playbook is lying around the Turner household. That'd nah, be too much information. <laughs> Having some fun with it. I would bump these receivers, though. The Bengals are doing it. Don't let them get down the field too fast. There's Jackson. That's pretty fast. 21 yards picked up. We've got another Charger down, another Charger injured, and they don't have a timeout, so they're going to lose 10 seconds off the clock. Yes, and the clock will start when the official blows it, so they'll have to kill it. Spike the ball again. It's Merchkowski. Hey, he was raising his hand right away, so it wasn't like he, he couldn't get off the field. There was a bump at the line of scrimmage, but it's not enough. Vincent Jackson gets down there quick. You see Dennis Norman suddenly realizing he's going to get into this game. It's 16 seconds. Yeah, Philip Rivers practicing the. Yeah. Merchkowski, you can see he's in quite a bit of pain. Merchkowski, who's been filling in uh, capably for Nick Hartwick, who's been out with an ankle and was inactive today and missed a lot of games in a row. You know, Jim, I tell you, we, we talked about it, but man, it's amazing how they've kept it together and had guys step up for this team, football team, especially when you talk about defensive and offensive linemen being out. Multiple defensive linemen, multiple starting offensive linemen. Vic Hartman on the sideline. Yeah, they were hoping to get him back come playoff time. Now Hardwick's in the gray on the right. And this was uh, in the pregame warm-ups. Nate Kading. That was 60, 60 yards. Wow. He's actually made one in a game from 57 would be his longest. He made that look easy too. So remember that uh, once uh, play resumes, ball's going to be at the Cincinnati 49 in San Diego again without any timeouts. 16 seconds, and when then Carl Sheffers blows the whistle, the clock will start. Phillip Rivers in will down it. And with. Oh, you did. His leg got pinned. Yeah, I couldn't quite see. Boy, a lot of injuries for the Chargers today. Now, I tell you, Jim, spike the football, 15 or 14 seconds left, then. The Chargers almost will have to get out of bounds. Well, they could kill the clock, maybe. They have time to get up there, depending on how long the game is, to at least give Katie a chance to kick a field goal. Timeout, Cincinnati. Hunter Jones. Oh, there's a flag on the field, too. Cincinnati.
Maybe this is another one we're going to ignore. <laughs> well, in case somebody tuned in late, we've had a few disregard the play. Please put 16 on the game clock. 1-6, please. And another two seconds. Thank you. That's the team that struggled to get near 200 yards throwing the football in the last, what, last six yeah. weeks? Uh, two of the last three weeks have been right around 100. Yep. But you know, so many times it's, it's well, just like last week. A good pass rushing team in Minnesota, a young offensive line, crowd noise, getting behind. No chance to protect Carson Palmer today. They've given him time, and you can see, giving time, he makes tremendous throws. Can they get a completion? and get the clock stopped in time to get Kading on the field. And May had not turned around in time. And it's down to 12. Good design by the Chargers that time, but it's hard not to be a little nervous and throws timing off when you're trying to uh, fight the clock. And that time, Philip Rivers just, just threw it before Nane was ready for the football. 12 seconds and no timeouts. Man, man, blitzing. Rivers unloads, got his man, and he's out of bounds. It's Floyd at eight seconds. My goodness, just what they needed I to give Kading a chance. I was going to say before the snap, if you're going to blitz, if you're the corners, you cannot let them catch anything going to the sideline. Spanos family, Spanos is no, that's going to be a chance for a win in regulation. It'll be a 52 yard try with Cypress to hold. David Ben, long time, long snapper, an excellent one, sends it back. Kick is on the way. Kading knocks it through. Chargers take the lead at 27 24. the big play to Malcolm Floyd. He was able to get out of bounds and then Kading absolutely looking fearless with that one. Not an ounce of uh, tension in, in the leg that time. Well, that's a good way to explain it. No tension in that kick. What a job by the Chargers. Call the timeout before the Bengals kick their field goal to give themselves a chance. A couple good plays. The Bengals gamble with the blitz. And the Chargers ready for it. Trying to extend that remarkable December win streak to 17. And in season streak to nine in a row. I tell you, it's been a fun game to watch, and who knows, maybe they'll meet again. Murchkowski is coming back onto the, well, he's actually being taken inside, being carted inside. Crowd at the opposite end reacting. And now just three seconds remaining. Cosby. We'll just try to keep it in play. Kading over on that side of the field. There's a flag down. Ball is out. Fanene lobs it over, and finally the officials say, enough with the nonsense. Game 
is over.